they it's keep their place there. It's, it's, it's well, good that's to see. I'm asking, but I don't, I'm not hearing. I said I'm directing this to the city council people, and no one is talking to me. So I'm, I'm asking. It, here's a good solution. We have the county representative right here. Let her let you take care of getting that thing closed down. <laughs> there you go. It has nothing to do with that business. It's, it's city. city business. It's city business. If they're breaking county laws, it's they're too not breaking close. any county laws. Otherwise, he wouldn't sign well, that. Too close to a church. Well, too close to a settlement matter. What about Quinn? Right now, about Quinn. Attorney Quinn looking at right now. That business is non-conforming. Right, it's not is in a non-conforming status. You understand what I'm saying? No. It means that you pass the council passed an ordinance, brand new zoning ordinances, that they were not allowed in the TC area. Matter of fact, they had to find a place. Our attorney told us that you've got to have a place for them, period. It's their right. So we chose Parks and Industrial Boulevard for all porno stores. Period. And all the repair shops, which are not conforming. Now, if he changes any part of that building, anything in there, they can close him down, and he has to file a business. But up until then, if he if he meets the law, it's his right to have that business there. Period. He's grandfather. Yes, yes sir. Right. right. And that's yes. it's not so good. Now, if the, if the citizens got together with picket signs and the news media and say we want to close this because we don't know why this store is sitting less than 100 feet away from a church and less than 150 feet away from a daycare center. It's very easy to do. Big magic markers, big poster boards, office depot. That's how we got our citizens' comments back. Oh, yeah. Right, Dean. In, in, in uh, uh, John's Creek or the John's Creek. Yeah. 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 More of that. All of them did that. They got in front of that store and picked it. So let's, you know, <laughs> let's pick a day and do it. So we just need to pick a date and get us a, a permit. Not date, sure. Dates. You need to Dates. be out there. You need to start doing it. To make it, to, to make it money. Oh, right. 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 And have the news media come out here. I'm you still get the news media. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's show what I'm worried about. I know. Yeah. Get yeah. 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 your state representative involved. Get your district commissioner involved. Did you see the news? Well, that, that might be a good, a good when, when is your campaign in November or July? July. July? Okay. Yeah. All right. Good discussion. Anything, anything else? Um, I have to go take some pictures of those bathrooms down in the Milan Park before they get demolished. Demolished? They spelled? Yes, they did. They just demolished them? No, they just refurbished them. They put all brand new fixtures in the community. A whole hundred thousand dollars? No, a hundred thousand dollars. They're not building it, so yeah. We put the back, we put the sinks, the urinals, and everything back in the Because it's all best news. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. That building was built with surplus equipment from Mr. Hemster's construction yard. And when they went into the walls, the plumbing was all wrong. The urinals were too low to the floor and everything. I mean, Ridiculous. The scope of work was for demolishing and building about a hundred thousand dollars worth of bathrooms. No. No. Who gave the city gave it to us? It, it wasn't a hundred thousand dollars, Chris. No, that was. I don't happen to have it with me, but it was listed there. That's good that that didn't happen. No, they just they just, they just took them down, replaced them, and put them up to code height. That's exactly what they and put the right type of fixtures in the walls, so they weren't right. That's great. Yeah. Go on and take a look. You see. I'm sorry, I have one last one comment for the meeting. <laughs> or it's actually a request. Um, I'm, a, I'm a student for a, a, a group of partnership for community action. It's called the CAD Neighborhood Leadership Institute. Yeah. And um, I'm in a group of diversity. And uh, we, uh, I graduated in November, but we would like to. Um, along with the city and Bob's community groups have like um, a diversity festival or like a fair um, where we do like food, fashion. I've already talked about About something like that? Yeah. Well this, okay, well Muhammad is the CEO, right? I've already talked about But what I'm, this, is, this, this is something that a group of the students 
we want to put together, you know, from the DeKalb Leadership Neighborhood Institute, which is one of the organizations or one of the groups that he's a part of, you know, that yeah. he funds. So we um, we would like to do it probably around September um, or um, either the beginning of September or the ending of August, just around when school comes in. And I know that the Clarkston Youth Initiative, they're interested in learning about each other's cultures and stuff like that. And you know, I, I just thought it would be a good, a good, a feel good thing for everyone to do to start off the school year. So it's oh, the next council meeting is the day before the fourth of July. Are we still going to have it on the fourth of July? <laughs> oh, they have to be on the town. They haven't changed. One thing I, I think y'all will bring up the council meeting is a report on how the pool is doing, whether we're making money, the wisdom money, we need a report on what's going on down there. Okay, so. All right. So you said what about, I'm sorry, you said, you said what? I know you spoke to, to Celine, but yeah. I don't want to carry the conversation further, so. Yeah, it was a private. Huh? It was a private conversation. Okay, so but I know about I know about the function. And I didn't know if y'all were going to give separate ones. I didn't know. But you're telling me it's a group within that group, right? Okay, wait, no. Okay, so I okay, I know what I'll do. I'll talk to Muhammad. I'll there he is. Okay. Okay, because he's already talking to me in the Okay. Yeah, because he's getting all the particulars together so we can sit down with Keith. Okay. Well I'll 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 talk to him about it. No, I, I think you guys got some something going on. I don't know what that's about. So, oh, it was there. You know, the the down the street on Park Road, down in that That's that's the organization we're talking about. Okay. 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 So, so they you said you would need to. Yeah, I, I don't know who you're working, who you're working with, but I would say, you know, really, this is something that you. Well, we, we haven't, um, I, told, I, I told them I would come to this meeting today to see if it would be something that would be of interest to the city anyway, because I, I knew that we were having a town hall meeting, so I am a lone person within, within the city, you know, probably having it like maybe somewhere out in the parking lot and um, in the parking lot and maybe even all around. Is that something that you could organize and do? Yeah, this this would be my project in order for me to graduate from my program. Yeah. So oh. yeah. So I would like to see like a parade with you, you know, the mayor and the city council people and you know, just something something I'm we're, we're still working out the details, but I would like for it to be something that the city would consider partnering with us on to, you know, make it a, a, a great event for Clarkson. All right. All right. Any more concerns? Yes. Yeah. Um, last week, I emailed each member of council uh, requesting that the matter of the city logo be put on the agenda for the next council meeting. I have not heard back from any of you. So, first of all, has that been done? Is it on the agenda for the work session? Why is it not? Uh, we, we already voted on that issue. I'm sorry? We have voted on that issue. Done deal. So you're saying it's a done deal? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, let me go on record as saying that it's a done deal is no longer acceptable verbiage in this city. And it will be challenged every time you try to use it. Now, the reason I'm, I'm asking for this to go back on the work session agenda is because a council meeting, um, simply one week later than the, than the work session, you completely ignored the wishes of the citizens of this town when they asked you to delay this until we could have a competition. 
Everybody seemed in the room, even some of you seemed really uh, intrigued by that idea. With the most articulate opposition coming from Graham's wife, That's right. Rita, That's uh, right. who was probably one of the most logical and best speakers in this town. And she said, and she said, put it up to a contest. See what she did in the You say you would have a better, you would have a better logo. And for less money, because you offer a prize, uh, $500 or whatever, and you have all these submissions, and you have a great judging contest. Great, great I like that. And, and just to say, it that was my, a mistake. My, my, Big mistake. My, um, when they had the Clarkston competition for the library cards, I had all of my children and my nieces submit, and my my niece won. Her card is is the one with the children across the the world. So I, you know, I think it's something that that you, you know, we the children are interested in finding out what. You know what the functions are. What do you guys do? And it's like you all are so invisible. So if you can make yourselves more, you know, transparent or make yourselves more visible, you'd be amazed at, at what these children can actually. She just illustrated how the selection process for something like a logo would have been the source of a lot of amusement and fun and competition. And Keith Barker got it dead wrong. Let me, let me mention a couple of things. We discussed the C logo and the, uh, the uh, slogan a couple of times in the past year in one session. I never heard it. We asked the, go back and check the record, we asked the, uh, the candidates as we were interviewing the city manager how they would market the city. What, what would be the brand? So it's not like the issue just came up one week and the next week we voted something. This has been something we've been concerned about for quite some time. Well, let me, let me, in my perception, when I came up one week and was voted the next week, in my perception. Right. So I, as I told you before, I wanted the opportunity to uh, submit my own design for this. And, um, uh, you know, and let me ask you something else. At the work session, when, when the whole idea of the competition came up, uh, Warren, I know, kind of was saying, oh, well, we could do it this way. I believe I heard Dean say something about, well, competition, that's an interesting idea. Then when it came up for a vote, one week later, there was no mention. What happened in that week that, that made a competition absolutely not under consideration? I, I don't think that's the I, 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 I would say, you don't think what? I would speak to when I get a chance. So I would First of all, it's no sense in hashing that over it. They've already voted. No, no, it's not a done deal. Wait, Nothing's a done did deal you hear me say if done the deal? citizens are unhappy about it. Did you hear me say done deal? In, in, in essence, yes. I did. What do you mean in essence? Don't be put what, words what in my mouth. Now don't tell me what I'm thinking. What did you just say? It's not in essence. I said they've already voted on it. Let's stop hashing that out. So that you're saying it's a done deal? voted on it, right? Now you say it's a done deal. deal. Citizens, you, you, uh, let me speak. Okay. It's up to the citizens to voice their opinion to this council, saying you need to go back and readdress this issue, which is what we're doing. That's all you need to do. Which is what we're doing. So we need to ask for it to be put back on the agenda. Is what you're saying? What is yes. the process? One, yes. two, three, four. Bingo. That's it. Now, if you don't want to do it, then don't go on to it. Does she want to do it? Does he want to do it? Does he want to do it? Okay. Well, we have four. You got six. You got six council people. We have, well, there, with the six council people that are here, is it something that you guys would take one? Would, is anyone interested in allowing that to come back to the table in terms of um, in terms of revisiting the logo and how we go about deciding the logo for the city? How much money we are That's my question. How much money the let, let me let me bring something up. Uh, I, I, yeah, let me say something. I've been trying for about an hour. Uh, I don't think I ever saw any of these choices before they came to the work section. We're narrowed down to three. And that's the first I saw of them. And maybe somebody else saw them before that. And I and I was upset by that. And uh, so he said, 
what happened during the next week, it became clear to me that we had already spent four, I think fourteen hundred dollars for this woman to do this work. And uh, so who got then we wait. Don't do this. Right. So, so uh, when uh, I talked to the manager about it during the week, I thought it's fourteen hundred dollars we got three to choose from. It's not the battle, it's not the hill I want to die on, you know. We'll go ahead with it. We've got a, 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 a letterhead for a while. If it gets enough bad publicity, we'll redo it. A year or so down the road, we'll redo it. But right now, we can say nobody's going to put that back on the agenda. Or right now, so oh. nobody's going to put it back on the agenda. I just, I think for right now, it's, 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 I don't want to call it a done deal, but it's the money was already spent. It would have cost us a good deal more money to go hire that woman to do anything more. It's okay. The process is, the idea of somebody 